I am thankful to Islamic Relief for inviting me uh, to highlight the importance of child centered ERR and to share our experiences with uh, Islamic Relief field staff as well as the uh, other participants of the organizations um, and also to have their experiences and to, to listen their views and to uh, have uh, an overview of their implementation approaches in terms of children participation that was an excellent and amazing initiative uh, arranged by Islamic Relief. I just want to highlight that uh, in this uh, topic of resilience building where we focus on the participation of uh, all inclusive groups which talks about women, children, girls, boys and uh, it's very important to involve them in building resilience and that should be in all phases of disaster management and while delivering a session I, uh, I had a chance of discussion with one of the field member of Islamic Relief and he shared uh, how they are practically implementing and how practically they are ensuring the participation of children and particularly girls in their project activities that was quite inspiring and that actually shows that they, how they are actually addressing the needs of the marginalized groups uh, not only at the field level but as well as at the policy level and how they are collaborating with other organizations and the government line agencies in terms of advocating for their rights so that they could uh, build their capacities and so that they could uh, prepare them to respond to future disasters so my appreciation and thanks to Islamic Relief and we really look forward uh, from a forum side and as well as from Save the Children to collaborate with Save the Children in addressing the needs of these marginalized communities in Logger Rev. Different international and national organizations are uh, working on awareness raising and capacity buildings for the preparedness uh, to prepare communities for the future uh, disasters to mitigate the uh, losses. So uh, it is uh, very important that uh, communities should know their uh, prevailing hazards and associated risks around their communities so that they can think upon and they can sensitize themselves to prepare uh, for future disasters. So first of all we are really thankful to Islamic Relief Pakistan because they have initiated this is this is very wonderful you can say a learning workshop and, uh, for, uh, and uh, the output which has been provided by the Handicap International in this workshop that's mostly linked with the inclusive CBDR model so we should have uh, launched the information and advocacy campaigns at district and provincial and national level to make the environment accessible such type of events really contribute towards raising the awareness and from that awareness then people can go to universities to get education and uh, they can contribute a lot then but first the, it is the first step and you know the first step is very important so such uh, events are I see them as the first step towards adaptation. Islamic Relief actually uh, wanted to introduce it to its a team, a team all around Pakistan to an, a new idea about uh, DRR model. We have been working all around uh, in Pakistan on various aspects of DRR but the need of the hour was that we ourselves are convinced and clear about how do we actually go about DRR in our communities. So we actually embarked upon a basic idea that we should be very clear within ourselves that uh, what is our DRR model. So we uh, had a lot of discussion before going into the training that uh, how should we go about this model. So we actually uh, came to three basic uh, concepts. Uh, the first was knowledge development, second was resource mobilization and the third was uh, how to actually ensure that at the community level we are doing mitigation actions. So these three areas 
we uh, we agreed upon within the organization and it actually make it actually makes our own DRR model so all the thinking all the frameworks available are all around in 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 the world in Pakistan uh, uh, these actually crystallize to these three basic ideas and these three basic phases of uh, CBDRM so uh, uh, and we are going to take this uh, in, a, in a formal way we are going to unleash this model in this training and uh, hopefully we'll be following it up uh, with all different trainings and actual actions at the community level to uh, to promote this DRR all around Pakistan and take it forward for other uh, as a model uh, for other uh, countries or for other organizations